Alright everyone, we are going to start boarding for the next point. Please have your tickets ready as you come to the gate. Excuse me? Excuse me. Um, I'm on standby. Uh, do you think I'm going to make it on the plane? Oh, well, it's hard to say, sir. Um, in order for you to get on the flight, somebody would have to miss theirs. I know, I know, I keep hearing that. But see, I've been to the airport for three days now and have tried to get on standby on five straight flights and was denied all those times. Wow, that's some pretty bad luck. I've never heard of somebody getting denied that many times in a row. Um, you know, maybe you're just not supposed to get to where you're going. But I have my fiancé waiting for me in Pittsburgh. I haven't seen her in a year and I'm trying to get to her. My heart is getting crushed here. All I need is to get on this flight and see her. I'm begging you. I, well, sir, I know you've had a rough couple of days, but I can't just kick somebody off the flight because you missed yours. You know, if you just cut it, uh, but she'd be in your baby's arms by now. How heartless can you be? What are you trying to do to me? Have you ever been in love, sir? Do you know what my heart is going through? I'm just saying. People go through their whole lives without ever finding love, and here I am, trying everything to get to the love of my life, and you cold, heartless airline people are torturing me on purpose and holding me from my happiness. Sir, nobody is torturing you on purpose, okay? Look, we're just trying to do our jobs. Do you know that I wake up at 6 a.m. six days a week just to get here on time, must I remind you, just to do my job to best of my abilities, okay? And, it, you know, every day without fail, I get guys just like you who think they're the only people in the world and that their issues are the only issues in the world. We're not trying to sabotage your life, and we'd appreciate if you kept us out of your sad stories. Okay, you're right. I'm sorry for being rude, but I just have to see her. My heart is being ripped apart by this waiting. I guess I'll just sit over here and wait to be denied once again. Oh, cruel world. Have some mercy on a man in love. I beg of you. Would you like me to take your fortune? I'm sure it'd be very helpful. Oh yeah, please give me some good news. Jim, did you lose the damn tickets again? God, you're getting more worthless with age. What in the hell are you good for, huh? Gosh, honey, I I'm, I I'm sorry. I know I packed everything right here. I'm trying to do everything right. You don't have to be so mean to me. Oh, yes, I do. Otherwise, you would just go through the world with that stupid smile on your face, thinking that everything's all hunky-dory. Well, it's not. The world is full of bad people that want to do bad things to us. Gosh. And the only reason why we survive in this crap hole is because of me. Gosh, you don't talk like that. You make me so sad when you are negative. See, I have the tickets. I am not so useless. We'll see about that. Give me the damn ticket. Jesus. Jim! These are for Coach. Where are the first class tickets? Please, Mary, can you keep your voice down? Oh, I'm so sorry. I forgot to tell you about that. I, I didn't think you would mind. It was only one flight and they were a lot cheaper. Wait, what? We are not going to start flying coach. Excuse me, we're not going to start flying coach, brother. When I married you, you said you would treat me like a queen. Well, honey, queens don't fly coach. You think the Queen of England flies coach? Please calm down. Why don't you mind your own business back there? I'm just the nerve trying to save us some money. Things are really tough right now with the economy, and we lost a lot of assets. So I'm just trying to make it work. What, what are you telling me? That we're not rich anymore? Because I will not accept not being rich. I was meant to be rich. I'm not saying that we're not rich. I'm just saying that we need to be a little more considered in how we spend our money. <laughs> Listen, I will be rich, all right? With or without you. You know, Diane, Someday I might just get sick of your attitude and get a divorce. <laughs> really? Why don't you go ahead and do that, all right? Do it and fly coach by yourself. Gone. I'm waiting.
Josh. I, I said someday. I just want to be happy today. All right, everybody. It looks like we're finally cleared aboard. So once again, if you'll have your tickets and IDs ready as you make a single file line at the gate. Oh, here, wait. Yeah. Yeah, okay, but they've been waiting for 10 hours, give or take. They're going to be pretty ticked off about that. All right. Scratch that, everyone. I'm sorry, but it looks like the plane is having an engine issue, so we'll try and get you on as soon as possible. Please just sit tight. Sorry about that. Thank you for your cooperation. Oh, no. This is taking too long. I don't think I'm going to make it. You're not going to make it? What do you mean you don't think you're going to make it? What's wrong? I don't know. I was in Ecuador, in the jungle, having a good time. And then some of the locals started getting sick. At first it all seemed normal, but then they started getting really sick. I got out of there and thought I was fine, but I've been getting worse for about a week now. You went to the hospital, right? You, you, you did get checked out. Uh, no. I just want to go home and see my mom. She'll... Oh, I can't handle... Oh, my God. I can't handle this. I can't handle this. What? What's wrong with you? Can you keep a secret? Yeah. Relax, man. I can keep a secret. I think I messed up. I mean, I, I really think I messed up. What do you mean? Well, I'm going to visit my grandma in Pittsburgh, and my buddy gave me some really good coke, and and I didn't I don't know I didn't know how else I could handle a week with my grandma just sitting around playing cars a week, so so I decided to bring it with me. What do you mean you brought cocaine with you? You can't have cocaine in your bags. They have the dogs find it. I know, I know. But I thought it would be a good idea at the time. Well, that's not a very good idea. They're going to find it, and you're going to get in a lot of trouble. I hid it someplace that I thought would be safe. Where would it be safe? Oh, oh, um, you know, I mean, sun don't shine safe. Oh, God, you must really like your drug. I... I, I know, but, you know, I, I, I thought I packed it all right this morning and everything, when I left and everything. But it could explode. People oh. die this way all the time. I, mean, I don't know if I can, I don't know if I'm going to make it. I don't know if I can handle this. Oh, well, first, oh, just stop talking. You're not helping either of us. Maybe if you just hold hands, we'll make it through this together. Um, I'll take it. I'll take it. Uh, hit it. Whoa. Uh, what did I do? Is uh, this plane leaving already? Uh, hi, get you, get you think you see me? Hello? Uh, hello? 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 Uh, yeah, hey lady. Uh, as you can see, I can't see, so I really rely on conversing, not just poking. Um, get you think you see me here? See me? Skilru. Are you messing with me? You're messing with me, right? Um, get you, get you think you see me? Hello? Hello, see me? Yeah, hello again. Oh, wait, I see. You don't speak English, do you? You don't speak English and I can't see hand gestures. Aren't we just Laurel and Hardy over here? But I can see where this is going. Hold on. Uh, can we get an airport worker over here? Yes, uh, I can help you. Yeah, we're having an issue over here. You see, this lady's trying to hit on me, but she doesn't speak English all that well and I can't see, so I kind of need your help to start this relationship. Um, okay, yeah, ma'am. He can't see, so you're gonna have to use one of your other senses to express your affection for him. Um, you skill, you call it Asaya, and get you think you see my here, get you think you see my. Oh, hey man, I think she wants your number. Oh, baby. I should have given it to you when I realized you had the hots for me. You know, I may be blind, but you got the hot foreign girl aura. So here, take my card, and uh, give me a call after you take a few English classes. Um, oh, you weren't hitting on him? Here, you need to make a call? Here, yeah. Oh, there talk. Yeah. Talk. Come on, sir. Yo. 
Hi. Ja, je werkt het negen uit vier. Ik lukt het niet meer doen. Je weet ik niet eens lekker vaar. Dat is niet goed. We're gonna be late for our show. Oh ja, yeah, but who cares? Everybody there has already paid for their tickets anyway. We'll get bands show up late. It's an image thing. What do you mean an image thing? Showing a plate isn't an image thing, it's a bad business thing. And we're trying to be good business people. Remember what we talked about? A business thing? What do you think we're running here? A pizza shop? We don't make pizza, we make magic. With rock dough and roll toppings. Whoa, whoa! None of this, guys. You just spent the whole car ride here arguing about if the Hulk is more powerful than Bigfoot or not. Simmer down, kids. Now, Sledge, you are right about the business thing, but rocking is our first priority, am I right? And you, Zebra, we did just get fired from the gig at that club that was paying a lot of our bills. It's true, I swear. Sometimes I think Zebra's just biding her time until she goes solo and kicks us to the curb. We are a unit. That's why we rock. So don't think you don't need us, because you do. Whoa, whoa, where is all this coming from? Sounds like you're getting touchy because you're feeling expendable. <laughs> Are you out of your mind? Look at these hands. Look at these hands. These hands hold down the beat for you every night. You miss a step and these hands are here to catch you because these ain't expendable hands, my dear. Guys, I thought we were stopping all of this bickering. No one's expendable and no one's going so low. Guys, we're on the way up. We're actually getting paid to rock. We've been doing this for eight years now. Hardly any glory. And we're finally tasting it. Can please just enjoy it? Yeah. <sighs> Zipper's right. Thanks for holding down the beat sledge. Yeah. I couldn't go solo. I need your hand. I'll always be here for you, Zebra. Because fire throwing ain't going nowhere. Except to that show where we're going to blow their socks off. <laughs> fire throat! All right, everybody. The plane will be leaving in about an hour. So if you please just sit tight, and we'll have you on the plane soon. You see? No one ever goes anywhere. You try and go places. Do you ever get anywhere? Or do you just get stuck in limbo? Excuse me, sir. I know that this is really stressful for you, but you really need to calm down. Yeah, I don't need to calm down. I need a vacation. And I bet you need a vacation, too. I do need a vacation. <sighs> yeah, can we get security over here? Yep, yeah, just another guy freaking out. Yeah, I know. It's like the third time this week. And that doesn't tell you anything. You're treating us like a bunch of imprisoned lemmings over here. You wouldn't allow us freaking out! Sir, you're going to have to sit down. I know that this is really stressful for you, but yelling and cursing is definitely not going to make anything go faster. I know. I know. What if you knew the month I've been having? You understand why I'm freaking out. Everything's just going to hell. Listen, man, times are tough on everyone. Look at me. My wife just got fired. I'm barely hanging on to this job. We're just trying to feed and clothe our kids. But if I gotta hang on, so do you. Yeah, you're right, but I, I was just supposed to take a vacation. I was, I was gonna go on vacation and I, I was gonna come back all fresh and relaxed and ready to take on the world. <laughs> This case is just making me angrier. It's not going the way I imagined it. Hey, man, you're gonna get your vacation, all right? See those guys out the window right there? All those guys working real hard to get the plane ready so that you could take your vacation? They're not working hard for their vacation. They're working hard for your vacation. Huh. Wow. They are working hard. Look at you. You're working hard too. Here I am just being a jerk, making it hard for everyone. I suck. You don't suck, man, okay? You're just having a hard day, all right? And you're gonna get to that vacation that you deserve. You're right. It's gonna be okay. Hey, everyone! It's getting a little sorry for freaking out. It's all gonna be fine, and we're all gonna get to where we need to go. Thanks, man. I needed that. No problem. That's my job. I just really appreciate you calming down. Now, uh, why don't you give me a hug? You look like you can need it. Oh, 
Okay, everyone, it looks like the plane won't be leaving today. Uh -huh. oh. You like me? There is, however, an inexpensive $120 a night hotel that you can all stay at. Oh. Oh.